Hey guys, I hope you can hear me okay. I don't have um, my headphones hooked up so that you can hear me a little bit better, but I'm sure you can hear me. I talk loud enough. So I'm using a stone from the Happy Dotting Company molds. Um, it's the 3.75 inch sized one. You can use a stone, you can use um, a coaster, you can use a piece of wood, you can do this on anything you want. You do not have to do it the same as me or on the same canvas that I use. Um, I'm running low on big enough rocks to really do much on right now because of our winters here in Canada. Um, but uh, I do have molds from the Happy Dotting Company on Etsy. So I have painted mine black, let it dry, then I used a compass to make a circle. We're only doing one, not two. Um, and basically I'm just using my ruler to kind of set where I want my cupcake to be sitting because we are going to do the cutest happy birthday cupcake in the world um, because my birthday is this month and I've already heard from a few of you who have birthdays this month. Um, I'm going to be changing up these lines a little bit. I'm not going to have them so close together but you know how I do things here. I start off with pencil and go in with gold and what I like I keep, what I don't like I get rid of and we go from there. So this cupcake is going to be dripping with fluffy, delicious purple icing because purple's my favorite color. And there's also going to be a cherry on top. Yes, ma'am. So you can see the idea that I'm starting off with here. Um, don't forget that you can also get these same molds from the Happy Dotting Company on Etsy. Um, and use my discount. You can get 10% off of your purchase of $10 or more in their store. And you can get your own molds and make your own stones. I plan on doing a video on how I make them. Uh, my husband actually does it, so it'll be easy for me to videotape while he makes them up for me because um, he is the best. So I am using a pretty thick gold right now, but I will be cutting that down a little bit with black paint a little later once I do some cleanup. If you've been here before, you know how I do. So I am only keeping what I want and getting rid of the rest. Um, of course, you can see some pencil there. That will be gone. That will be either erased or painted over, and you won't see any of my pencil lines afterwards. So no worries there. Um, so now I'm filling it all in with black, getting rid of the pencil and thinning out the lines just like I mentioned. Um, and I'll go back to the Happy Dotting Company uh, situation while I'm doing that. So I'm going to do a video soon on how I mix together the gypsum powder. Um, I get mine from, I believe, Quebec. Um, and I mean... I buy a 50 pound bag because it lasts me a long time, especially this time of year when it's winter. Um, but I will leave stuff in the description for you guys for now and then I'll let you guys know when I'm posting a video on how I make the stones. Um, but I'm hoping to get to that very soon. So you can do whatever you want. If you don't like cherries, you don't have to put a cherry on top. So you you decide what you want. You could put sprinkles. Um, I will have some sprinkles throughout this design. If you saw on the thumbnail, um, there are sprinkles. Let there be sprinkles. Um, this is going to be the most fattening cupcake I've ever had. Um, don't actually eat your cupcakes, guys. Just, just sending it out there. These are really stale. <laughs> Very stale. Now I'm going to be incorporating some of my favorite colors as usual. Um, purple, um, but you'll see. We're going to make it colorful and bright and happy and anyone would be absolutely delighted to um, have one of these for their birthday because it's low fat. Low fat, zero calories. Um, also, you can also use these as like a gender reveal. You can do, um, 
it all in the colors of whatever female male and uh and then put it in a box with like some wrapping paper or some tissue paper over top and then when you open it up there you go it's a boy or a girl you can put you can write on it you can say it's a boy um do blue icing it's totally up to you. You could do two cupcakes to let somebody know you're having twins. Um, I don't know. Come up with some creative stuff to do with this. Because I know y'all like cupcakes. And I know you all have birthdays, right? You guys all have birthdays? I hope. Is somebody going to come after me because I just said you all have birthdays? I'm pretty sure we all have a birthday. But yeah, make this for yourself. Bring it out every year. <laughs> totally up to you you get creative with it you can also put some of your favorite things like um like so like little sprinkles if you like chocolate you can put like a little chunk of a chocolate bar sticking out the side instead of a cherry if you like chocolate mint you can do like chocolate cupcake with little mint leaves at the top um whatever there's so much you can do with a paintbrush you can just open up your whole world full of fun so for my cupcake bottom what is this part called the the cup <laughs> this is the cup we'll do the cake after right now we're gonna do the cup so I'm starting off, I'm just going to do three different colors. So on one side of each separate line area, um, I'm going to do the dark teal color. And then beside those dots, I'm going to do a little bit lighter using jungle green. And then a little bit lighter, I believe it's called ocean view. Um, or no, it's a drift, a drift. I was close, it's close to the ocean. <laughs> very similar in color. I will list paint colors in the description, guys. You know me. So I'm just going along all the sides there with one color. Now I'm going in with jungle green, and this just gives the cup like a, a nice look to it. It's not just one one color. Gives it the impression that it's it's crinkly, just like one of those cups. Once again, the terminology has failed me, and I'm not going to cry about it. <laughs> <laughs> the crinkly part of the cup, people. <laughs> Ugh. I hate it when the terminology fails me. It does with every single video, I promise you. So I'm just making stuff up as I go along. <laughs> now I'm adding the Adrift color, which is like a light, light, light blue. Very, very nice color. And this just kind of, you know gives it that crinkly effect almost with the with the different shades in there. I made I made this a while ago for a baker and um they really loved it. Their their daughter was a baker and she had her own business and so I made like a giant cupcake on a big flat stone and I made it just like this because I I used my favorite colors. <laughs> so here is the beginnings of my very favorite color. It's a nice dark African violet purple. And we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from a, a dark purple to a light purple, almost white up to the top of our icing. So I'm just, what I'm doing is I put purple in my tray, in my paint tray, and I'm gonna start off with my purple and I'm just gonna go up a little bit in the icing, like the drips um, and the, the top part is going to be all purple here all along our first layer then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little dab of white into my purple I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use a different color purple I'm just going to use the same purple and add white to it so that we can make a nice gradual change from dark to light so I'll show you in one second um, that the change to the next shade and so I'm just using plain old white acrylic paint and put it right into the purple. Just a bloop, a little bloop. Mix it up really, really good. And that's our next color. So we're going to just gradually go up, walking the dots up our cupcake. 
um, up the icing and it's okay if your dots aren't all the same size. You can see that some of my dots are even running together um, and some of them don't look like dots at all and that's okay because we're just filling this in in a different way from your standard painting. So you don't have to dot it if you don't want. You can just do the gradual color change using sponges or a blending brush and that'll work uh, just as nice. So if you're not a fan of dots, this is still something that you can paint uh, along with us. So now that I'm done that layer, I'm adding a little bit more white. Once again, I'm not using any other different shades of purple. I'm just staying with the same shade that I was using. And it, it lightens nicely just with a little, a little blob of white paint and mixing it up really good. And I'm going to do that all the way up until it's almost white by the time we get up to the cherry. This is going to be one heck of a fun cupcake. I love it. My cats are quiet right now, but I apologize if you hear them very soon. Because usually when they hear me talking up here and they know no one else is here with me, they come up and say, Oh, I thought you were talking to me. No, they don't say that, but they come up here and bug me because they don't understand why I'm talking to myself. <laughs> but really, I'm talking to you guys. They just don't get it. They don't get me. So I'm adding more white, going up to the next layer of icing. I don't know who creates cupcakes that look anything like this, but if they do, please send me one because this looks delicious even though it's paint. <laughs> you know. You guys are going to think this looks delicious when it's done. Delicious and sparkly and gold. How can we incorporate gold and sparkles into a cupcake? Well, guys, this is how you do it. I can incorporate gold and sparkles and glitter into just about anything. And this one, I have to tell you, I wish that I had like a drum roll machine that I could play right before you see the resin product. <laughs> This one deserves a drum roll, so I'm going to attempt it with paint brushes on my desk when the time comes. So if you hear tapping, that's my drum roll, and please don't make fun of it. Because <laughs> this one, I don't know if it's just because my birthday's coming or what, but this one needs a drum roll. <laughs> So I've used like a berry wine color to fill in my cherry, but I'm also going in with some bright apple red from Folk Art and giving it some depth, changing the shade a little bit, making it look like a nice shiny cherry. How's it looking? Going to add a little shine of white on the cherry as well. See, you can make it look shiny even though it's dots. Now we have a nice shiny cherry on top. This is gorgeous. I love it. I've been waiting a long time. You might have seen this on Pinterest because um, I did paint it a few years ago, but it was much bigger and it wasn't on a round stone like this either. So, so now we've got our cupcake. I'm going to let that dry a little bit and I'm going to use my teaspoon and make some cool designs around the outside of our circle. I'm going to be incorporating a little bit of yellow in here as well, and I'll explain that very, very soon. But keep all the pink colors out that you've been using because we're going to use those some more. So I'm, I'll sh you'll be able to see it much, much easier in a moment, but I'm using a pencil and I'm doing like little petals off the side and each petal is joined up. Um, but you of course cannot see that right now, so this is basically a waste of our time. Um, but you'll see it once I start outlining it with gold, and then you'll know what I'm talking about. Depending on the size of surface you're working on or the size of circle that you've made, you might not want to use a teaspoon. You might want to use a half teaspoon. You might want to just put them on yourself without using anything, and that's totally up to you. I have teaspoons and tablespoons and stuff at my desk for this exact reason. So nobody's allowed to touch mine. <laughs> they can use the ones in the kitchen. These utensils are mine. So you will see, once I've got them outlined in gold a little bit better, I will show you. That way you know exactly what I've done here. 
And it's just to kind of make sure that they're all evenly spread apart and they're all the same size and shape so that it doesn't look all wonky when I'm done. It's just, it saves me a lot of time trying to get them perfect just by my own judgment <laughs> and then not being happy with them and having to erase them and start over and all that stuff. So teaspoons, tablespoons, half quarter spoons, whatever. If you have them, put them at your desk because they will come in handy. <laughs> so you can see what I've done now. I'm just going to do a little bit of cleanup with my black paint and make sure everything is not too globby or too thick in some areas. It's cleanup time. Um, I hope you guys can see this okay. But you can see that they're all kind of crossing each other. They're all attached, intertwined, hooked into each other. And then we're going to work within those little areas, those little semicircles. Uh, we're going to do some dotting once again, but that's totally up to you if you don't want to do it. If you want to just leave it with the gold around the outside, that's an option as well. Um, look at it as you go along and, and see where you would prefer to, to not go any further. That's, that's the best part about this is that um, you get to do it the way you want to, using the colors you want to, with your creative ideas. Um, I'm just giving you some inspiration and, and hoping that you walk away from this video learning something from me and possibly even a little chuckle even if it's at my laugh. <laughs> oh, sometimes my laugh just drives me insane. I sound like Pennywise the Clown. And my husband says that my laugh is one of the favorite things about me for him. So I just keep trying to love it. <laughs> I keep trying to be okay with me, with the way I sound when I laugh. So I have cleaned it all up the way I wanted to. I will be using glitter very soon, so get prepared. I'll be using Dragonfly Glaze. It's made from folk art. It will be listed in the description of this video. I did get mine at Michael's. It's Dragonfly Glaze 44380. It has a full spectrum shift. So when you shift this paint, when it's dry, and whether it's resined or not resined or sealed with whatever you desire to seal your rocks with, um, it has like this holographic rainbow to it. So to me, it reminded me of parties and and surprises and confetti and all that stuff. So yeah, I've been using it a lot lately and it just so happens it's perfect for this one as well. So I'm just giving a second line over top of my circle just to make sure it's nice and bold and we can see it. Everything's dry. Now I'm going to go back using all the same colors that I've been using. Um, so I'm starting with the dark purple and I'm doing a bigger dot within these semicircles here, right in the center, or I'm, I'm just eyeing it up by eye. So I'm hoping that they're all in the center. Now I kind of like the way this looks. It's very simple. I would probably add glitter to the black background behind the pup, the pup cake. Cupcake, promise you this cupcake is not made out of pups, people. <laughs> Don't come for me. Um, so, yeah, you could just put glitter in the background of it and leave it like this. That would look beautiful. But not me. I'm going to add more to it. I'm going to go with some of the cupcake colors in the cup, which is the teal and the jungle green. I'm going to use some of those colors, but you can't see what I'm doing yet because I have not pushed it in your direction. There you go. I've walked around the large purple dot using my jungle green color, and I'm going to do that around all of them. You may not see them all. You, I may skip past so that you don't have to watch me and be bored, um, but that's what I'm doing around that large purple dot. That cherry looks so shiny already. I just want to eat it. So I finished my, my jungle green dots. Now I'm going into the colors of the icing that I already mixed earlier. So this is like one of my final lighter purple colors. I'm going on the center of the big purple dots. This is, you do whatever want. You, you, you don't have to use the same color uh, pattern that I'm using. Um, so just keep that in mind. Now I'm going back to that dark teal, which is on the bottom cup part. Um, and I'm putting two dots on either side of our purple dot, our big purple dot. 
And you can use uh, things that you have around your house to make dots if you don't have dotting tools. Um, you can also use the ends of your paintbrushes because they have all different sizes. Uh, just flip your paintbrush over and, and use the end as a dotting tool. So that's what I used to use before I found nail dotting tools, which is what I usually use now. I've gotten very comfortable with them. So this little thing that I'm doing here, it's meant to look like a little flame, like a little candle flame. Um, so that's what I'm doing in between all of the semicircles, just a little little candle flame. I'm going to go in and clean those up a little bit so they're not so thick. And then we're going to put flame colors in there. So we're going to be incorporating some yellow, some shades of yellow inside those little flames. And it will all come together, I promise. You might be thinking, what? Where? Why are you adding yellow to this now? Um, you'll see. It's going to look absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I never fail, you guys. You know, you see it when it's done, and you're like, oh, she's right. It looks kind of cute. Just be honest, guys. So I'm letting that dry, um, my little flames. Uh, before I put the yellow paint in them, I'm letting the, the gold and black dry a little bit more. Um, and while I do that, I'm putting the dragonfly glaze just behind the cupcake, um, make sure you don't put it too thick or it will stay foggy. So make sure it's a nice thin coat, but make sure you get everywhere. Now that that dragonfly glaze is dry, it looks kind of white, like a white glitter, but it's not. Trust me, you'll see in the resin portion that it's very colorful. Now I'm adding sprinkles. You cannot have birthday parties and cupcakes without sprinkles. So I'm using all the colors that I've already used and I'm incorporating some of the yellow that I'm going to be putting in the little candle flames around the outside. But all the colors that you have, the red, the purple, the teal, the light, uh, jungle green, the, all the colors, incorporate them all in little cute little sprinkles all over the background. If it's too much and too busy, you don't have to do it. But to me, this just looks like a party. It looks like a celebration cupcake. So um, I just kept going with it. <laughs> now, I do stop and think about whether or not I want to add red. But I do add red, and I promise you, I was very happy with it. <laughs> because I forgot, like, the cherries there. But I didn't put any red sprinkles, so I needed to add sprinkles. So now I'm doing the flames. I'm doing them all dotted. And I'm just doing like a darker, I believe it's called saffron. Not Zac Efron, it's saffron yellow. And then I do a bright yellow in the center of it. So I go around the outside of the flame with the saffron and then the inside with light yellow. So, you know, I just play with it. Play with your colors. See what you like. You don't have to use two different shades of yellow in your little candle flames. So I am now going to add red sprinkles because it needs to happen. I just want to see red sprinkles in there. There you go. We think it's going to be resin very soon and I need things to do a drum roll. So here we go. I am not a drummer, guys. Don't make fun of me. There it is. There it is. It is sparkling. It's gold. It's a party. All beautiful dots and color. And it's just gorgeous, you guys. I hope you loved it. Happy birthday to anybody celebrating a birthday in March. Mine's on the 29th. I'm going to be older. I'm not telling you. I love you guys. Keep painting. Bye.